Star Wars brought the Jedi to the world, but few humans have imbibed it. Kung Fu brought Shaolin to the world, but few humans have achieved it. The Shaolin said, A Shaolin monk can walk through walls. He may be standing a few feet from you, but he cannot be seen. He may be walking right behind you, but he cannot be heard. He needs nothing. He needs no one. For a Shaolin monk is master of himself. You have a mind. It was meant to be controlled. It was meant to be conquered. Of what use is this silly life if after having lived it, you have not tasted its rarefied nectar? Of what value is your existence if after having lived it, you have not gained access to the superpowers that lay dormant within you? What does it benefit a man to live a life of uncontrollable thought, pointless emotion, endless struggle, and innumerable chores? Most humans live as mules. Most humans die as mules, and they will grasp at straws in order to feel good about themselves for the heavy weight they have carried across the barren desert of their lives without a thing to show for it. Space is the not the final frontier, my friend. The mind is the final frontier, for within it lies chains that are so robust that their very sight makes one realize the true gravity of his imprisonment. But I could not, in a thousand lifetimes, describe to you just how otherworldly it feels to break these chains. There are powers within man that a handful throughout history have come upon. There are magical capabilities within you that you will likely never know. I say this because I have come to know man. His mind allows him to shop through clear windows, but it never allows him to enter the store. This man nods at valuable information. He agrees with things that are not in his own experience. He applauds the rare insights that he hears, but he remains forever on the outside looking in. Because in a deep and quiet place within him, he realizes that such things cannot possibly be attained, at least not by one such as himself. There is a particular DNA of individual who has the desire and the hunger to conquer his mind. I will gently and quietly share with you a few secrets of the Jedi. Jedi Secret, the Force Field. As you sit in the space that you sit, perhaps one day you will learn that you are able to own that space. What does this mean? It means that there is a force field you can create around you which allows nothing to penetrate. From where does this force field arise? It arises from breaking a specific chain of your imprisonment to the mind. So powerful is this force field that you barely hear the words that are spoken to you, unless you wish to hear them. It appears as if they are spoken to someone else. The force field does not allow them to register. I have always likened it to living off one's interest without ever having to touch one's principle. Jedi Secret Lightness Have you heard of lightness? The sorcerer who visited Milarepa used it to travel 300 miles on foot and return in the same day. There was a man who lived in China. It was raining outside. The streets were muddy. The man traveled on foot to see his friend, who lived on the other side of town. When he arrived, the friend was shocked to see that this man did not have a single speck of mud on his shoes. If I were to attempt to attach words to what lightness feels like, it feels as if one is walking on air. It is very difficult to explain, but it feels as if one is walking without the weight of himself. Jedi Secret Spontaneous Knowledge I will tell you that you have the power to instantly know things that you have never read about or heard about for all things can be reduced to a truth. The details matter not. If one learns to view things in their raw and pluripotent form, he sees without ever having to study them. If you view things from the perspective of details, you will feel the need to study details in order to become abreast. But if you learn the art of reducing things into fragments of native and universal truth, the walls begin to part and all knowledge becomes instantly available to you. Jedi Secret, Limitless Energy. Children never become tired 
after running all day. Man becomes tired after sitting at an office desk. Why is this so? Because children do not think. Man thinks endlessly. The fatigue that arises from manual labor creates a soreness in the musculature that lasts a few hours. It is for this reason that many humans trouble sleeping and others feel exhausted after a full night's sleep. You have heard of the haves and the have-nots, but you have only heard of these two classes within the context of material wealth. The true haves are those who have become privy to what the rest of the world does not know. To quote a line from Gordon Gekko, we pull a rabbit out of the hat while everybody sits out there wondering how we did it. You're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you? <laughs>